everyone, I'm Lauren from my Something Beautiful Life. I have a really unique planner to show you today and I'm so excited about it. It's so pretty, you're going to love it. This is the perfect planner for anyone who wants to bullet journal but just feels so overwhelmed by all the beautiful designs. This is a completely done for you bullet journal and I just love this idea so much. I wanna thank Your Bujo for sending this over to me. The owner, Lynn, is the sweetest thing. She is so talented. She drew out this entire journal and it's just beautiful. I just can't wait for you to see it. It comes in this beautiful box with these little foiled flowers and butterflies and it pulls out like a drawer, which I think is so cute. And one thing that makes this so special is that you can customize your cover, which is super rare for a bound book like this. And so I'll show you what I got in a minute but it comes with these cute little things on the front. So the first thing is this little envelope and inside, I've already opened this, so that's why it's all ripped already. It has a little envelope paper clip and this little sticker, which is super fun. And then I have a little note from Lynn and then there's this like instruction card that just gives you an overview of what's inside and how you can use it which I think it's so cool when they include things like that, especially if this is a planner that you're not used to using, just to give you a little intro about the planner and the company. And anyway, I just love that. So this is my cover. I got the green, I don't remember what it's called. Let me see if it's on the box. Okay, it's called light green. One thing I'll say is on the website, it looks a little bit more sage. And this is more of like a green, like a plant green, but I think it's a beautiful color and I really, really love it. But my favorite part is the foiling on the cover. I asked her to put my name on it. And then I also chose this little mountain symbol. She has four different symbols that you can choose from or pictures. I don't know what you want to call them. Four images that you can choose from if you want. You also can just have text or have nothing at all but I chose the mountain and then my name. I like the mountain symbol because it reminds me of the faith can move mountains phrase from the scriptures. And so that's why I chose the mountain to just remind me to have faith. I have a really special purpose for how I plan to use this. And we will talk about that a little bit in a minute and probably more in future videos as I set it up. But I just wanna jump in and show you the inside because this is just so fun. I love her design so much. Okay, so in the beginning you get like your name page and then there's like this awkward page that's always stuck together that's in like every notebook. And so there's just a dot grid page here that you could use for whatever you needed or just leave it blank. The first real couple spreads that you get are the year overview. So you have January through June on this first page and then July through December on the second page. So this is an undated planner, so you can start it whenever you want, but it is based in January through December. So just like this starts there, and then when we get to the monthly pages, it starts at January and goes through December. But if you did wanna start in the middle of the year, then just start in the middle of the book and then you can just cycle through. Okay, so then next, there's a page for your favorite moments through the year and a year in pixels. And I just love how it looks hand-drawn. I mean, it is hand-drawn, but like I didn't have to do it which almost makes me like it more because I'm sure if I'm the one that did it, then I wouldn't love it nearly as much. But I just love that it has the bullet journal look to it without like the effort of having to actually create my own bullet journal. Okay, the next page is a bucket list. We have a page for, or a section for goals and what I achieved. I love this because I love that you can set your goals at the beginning and then keep track of what you achieve. And this may be the same as your goals, but it also may be something completely different. So I love the space for that. There is a travel log here and then favorite meals. And then we move into the months. So every month has its own theme. Of course, they are all hand-drawn. Every single page in this planner is different. There are no repeat pages, even within the weekly pages, as you'll see, they all have different layouts. Another thing that I'm really excited to do is kind of make this my own. So like you see that you have space here that's blank. You could totally use this page for memories or some other kinds of notes that you wanted to keep track of for the month. Maybe just put in some pictures or some quotes that you love. But just because it's all 
drawn in doesn't mean that you can't customize it. In fact, she actually even has a version too that is in black and white. So if you don't want the color in it, you can get the black and white version and then color it yourself and have col whatever color theme you want for each month. Another thing I wanna mention, this is very thick paper. I think it's 160 GSM and it is 100% recycled. I know one thing that I don't like about recycled paper is that it usually tends to be yellow and this is not at all, like this is bright white. So I love that it's recycled, but it still has the bright white pages. All right, so here is your January monthly calendar. I really love the colors of the January. I think like purple's my favorite color. So purples and blues and pinks and all of that, like I love all of those together. Oh my gosh, I just saw the cute little mouse cursor there. That is super cute. Okay, so then for each month you have a habit tracker and a mood tracker that all matches the theme. So here's where you can put your key for the mood tracker, like what different colors you're going to color them in with. And then we just move into the weeks. And I think there are five weeks. Five. Yeah, there's five weeks per month. And like I said, every single one has a different layout. So here's the first one for January. There's week two, week three, week four, and week five. And then we move into February, which is also super cute. I just love the designs in this. So I wanna kind of flip through and show you some of them. Like even the mood tracker, she changes the layout of it each month and the weeks are different, but they have, they're all cohesive throughout the month with the cute little matching design. I love the waffles. And I just think this is such a fun planner. So I'm gonna kind of flip through it a little bit so you can see the different pages, and then we'll come back and talk about it. I really wanna show you all of the pages because they are just so fun. And I know it's kind of hard to get an idea of a planner, when you don't actually have it in front of you. And so I always like to see like what page comes after each one. So you can see like the exact order. So every month has the cover page, the monthly calendar, the habit tracker and mood tracker, and then five weekly spreads. And so that's what's in each month. So this is all April. Okay, at the end of the planner, you also get a few dot grip pages for just anything else that you might wanna keep track of in your planner. And then there's a cute little note from Lynn at the end. There are two ribbon bookmarks and an accordion pocket. And one thing I didn't mention before is that they are all the lay flat binding, which I just love. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how I plan to use this. In a sense, it's going to be kind of a journal, but not really a journal. What I'm calling it is my self-reflection planner. At the end of 2024, I want this to be a book full of good things. I want it to be my favorite memories, things that made me laugh, favorite quotes that I loved, lessons that I learned, answered prayers that I got, something I'm grateful for, or just any kind of milestone I've met or progress that I've made. 
I want this to just be a memory of the whole year. I might add in some pictures, but that's really like not my focus. It's going to be mostly writing, but that's because I wanna make it really easy to do. And sometimes when I add pictures, then that just makes it harder because then I have to like leave a space for it and go print the picture or something like that. So I want it to be really easy, but most importantly, there's just no rules. Like the only thing that I'm kind of setting as like a criteria is that I just want it to be happy and upbeat and positive. I don't want this to be a book of complaining or anything like that. I know being the end of the year, I keep seeing this popping up on Instagram and Pinterest where you take a jar and then every week you write something positive about that week and then at the end of the year you have a jar full of happy memories. That's kind of what I want this to be, except I want it to be in book form. So you absolutely could use this as a normal weekly planner. I think it would be perfect. It's so cute, it's already decorated, but we all know that I like planners. I have tons of planners. I enjoy using new planners and trying out new ones. So I really wanted this to be something that was more of a keepsake that I could look back on throughout the year and at the end of the year and even in future years. Just like a overview of what my whole year was. And I really wanna find a purpose for every page just so I'm utilizing the space well. I mean, the weekly pages will be easy. Even the monthly pages, I think I could use them for like gratitude or something like that. In fact, I think that's actually a really good idea. And then if there's something like bigger, then I can always expand it to the weekly space. But I also wanna find a way to use the habit trackers and use the, like the mood trackers. Like honestly, I'll probably use the mood tracker as a mood tracker. And I do have some ideas for what I wanna do for the pages in the back. Like one of the things I want to do is have like a reading log or um, a list of the books that I've read. Oh, I also do wanna point out the Your Bujo shop actually has printed extra pages that you can order that you can just stick right into your planner. I believe they come on sticker paper and so you can just put them directly on the page. I chose not to get any of those at this time just because I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to use it but I know she has one specifically for books that is really, really cute and there's some other ones too. So definitely check those out if you plan to order from this shop, but I am so impressed. I love the colors, they're all vibrant and everything's just so, so cute. I'm really excited for this. I'm excited to look back on it at the end of the year and just see a review of my year. And I think it just goes along really well with one of my goals for the year. Actually, it goes along with a lot of my goals for the year. So anyway, that is my Your Bujo Planner. I will definitely leave a link to this in the description below if you wanna go check them out. I just love the concept of this, having a bullet journal that's already drawn out for you. And I think that Lynn did a great job on it. And if this is something that you're looking for, I definitely recommend checking them out. If you wanna see more of my planners for 2024, then check out this video right here. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. <music>